Are you looking to move to or out of Chicagoland Marketplace and you're wondering what the next step is? Well, I'm about to show you and we're getting started right now. What's up everybody? I'm Paul Ambrosio and on this channel, we talk living in Chicago's best suburban communities, where they are, and what makes them so great. So if you're into that, make sure you subscribe below and tap on the bell so you're notified every time we upload new videos to this channel. Hey, if you're like my wife and I 20 years ago, looking to move out of the city of Chicago into a more family-friendly area, this channel's for you. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I would be honored and humbled. Hey, you know, I, I just wanted to come to you with a, a quick video. It's the end of the year, and I just wanted to, to give some gratitude. Great year in real estate, as usual. And it's, you know, when you find something that you love to do and you're passionate about it, you just do it, right? And that's been 30 years for me. Yeah, you heard me right. This past March was 30 years in the business. And this past October was 30 years since my first closing in real estate. And I thought I would just take a few minutes and say thank you. I wouldn't have done it, I wouldn't have made it this far, 30 years in the business, without you. My clients, my past clients, my future clients, anybody and everybody out there, I just gotta thank you from the bottom of my heart. So you know, 30 years ago, that's a long time, right? And I just wanted to tell you how it all happened, the first sale, so bear with me. Again, 30 years ago, uh, I got into real estate and I was part-time for the first couple of months. I happened to, I'm gonna fast forward here, um, I was calling expired and I still have not put a property on the market yet. Uh, but every day I would call the expired listings and, and see if I can find somebody that still wanted to sell their home. So I, I called this couple and they said, yeah, come on out, we'll talk to you. The last three people couldn't sell the house, but we'll give you a shot. I went out and I don't remember their names, I apologize, but it was a middle-aged couple. They were possibly Italian and I remember the property well. They owned a restaurant in the Chicago. I don't remember the name of it, but they owned a restaurant, a small family restaurant. And the property was at 8041 West Irving Park Road in Chicago. And it was right across from the um, Acacia Cemetery. And that might have been uh, actually on the Norwich side, if I remember correctly, but that could have been the city of Chicago also. But 8041 West Irving Park was the property. So I called them, they said, come on out. I go out, I list the property. I'm all excited. I'm like, oh my gosh, I made it. I finally got my first listing, you know? My wife said to me, geez, you know, you love what you're doing. Why don't you just, if you're gonna do this, you gotta do it full time. Quit your day job. I thought she was crazy, but I did it. I said, are you sure? She goes, yeah, do it. You know, she had a good job at the time. She was working for uh, maybe the Niles or the Arlington Heights library system. So it was, a, it was a fairly good job at the time. So we took a chance. I quit my day job. We went down to one income hers and I went off into real estate full time. You know, now we're gonna fast forward a couple of months and this property on Irving Park Road has been on the market now for two months, and guess what? I wasn't a miracle worker. <laughs> I couldn't sell it either. The other three agents couldn't. I was not having any luck. Uh, the owner called me and said, hey Paul, our listing's gonna expire in 30 days, and we wanna let you know that we're not gonna renew, we're gonna cancel. The holidays are coming, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas. We just don't wanna have it on the market then. But you did a great job, but you got 30 days, so, and oh, by the way, Paul, we buried St. Joseph outside, feet upside down, facing the street, and we buried him right next to the real estate sign. And I remember this because today people do it the wrong way. And I say the wrong way because these folks did it their way, upside down, feet to the street, right next to the for sale sign, and the property sold, right? So here's how it went down. A week, week after maybe they put buried St. Joseph out next to the sign, I get a phone call. I think it was on a Saturday. And, you know, we, we had pagers, I think, back then. No cell phones, really. Uh, computer was just coming out in the real estate, you know. And I was at the office. Somebody called. This couple called and said, hey, we want to see your property. We're out in front of it. I got in the car, shot over there. You know, young buck, like, hey, this is going to be great. I go over and show them the property. And uh, they said they'd like it, but we'll get back to you. I said, great. I was so excited. I forgot to get their phone number. I go back to the office and I'm like, oh no, now what do I do? That was a big mistake, right? I can't follow up with them. 
So a whole week goes by, maybe, maybe a little longer than a whole week, but I get a phone call, I'm at the office again. It's the same, the same couple. And they said, we'd like to see the property again. We're in the area and we have our parents with us. I'm like, yes, right? So I jump in the car, I head over there. I meet them at the property and it was a Dodge Caravan. I remember the car, maybe baby blue, blue, maybe dark blue. They pulled up and I was waiting for them. I had the door open. They get out of the car and then mom and dad get out of the car and they keep getting out of the car. There's some kids and some more people. I don't know, it was like, felt like maybe 10 people. I'm like, what's going on? I didn't understand. I'm a young guy, never sold a home before. I don't really know what's going on, but I'm just going with the flow. So they come inside and they say, Paul, we wanted to show our parents. We had to give the house a blessing. We like it. We want to make an offer on it. But because it's across the street from the cemetery and the home was facing north, if I remember correctly, it was 8041 West Irving Park Road. So we were going west. So I'm pretty sure it was facing north the property. And they said, we've got to say a prayer or something. I don't know if it was called a prayer, but they said we have to give the home this blessing because it's across from the cemetery. We brought our parents with. Can we do it? I'm like, heck yeah, let's go. I'm, you know, and they're looking at me like, what are you doing? Right? So I stayed down on my one knee. There was the dad, the husband, and then I believe his father, grandfather. And then there were some kids standing on the ends and they all held hands and said something. I'm not quite sure what they said. And then I got up at the end and they said, okay, we want to make an offer on this. This is how it went down. We went back to the office. They wrote an offer. I got the property sold. I actually, in my office here, I have that 1099 from that first year, one sale, 1600 whopping dollars that I made that first year in real estate. But you know what? That was my first sale. It was a blast and I still remember it like yesterday. I just love what I do. And I just wanted to share that quick message with you because you know, 87% of real estate agents fell out of the industry in their first two years. That percentage fluctuates and the time frame fluctuates. You'll hear a couple different stories on the actual time frame and the percentage, but I was always told it's about 87% over two years fell out of the business. I'm so excited to be one of the ones that survived, that have succeeded in this industry. And I think, you know, I did that because of the passion I have. There's ups, there's downs, there's mountains, there's hills. Uh, you know, you're moving money around and you're trying to stay afloat in the beginning, you know, but it, it all paid off and uh, I'm just excited to be here. I'm excited what the future holds for you, for me. I'm here for you. So I wanted to share that story and if you're thinking about making the move, please reach out. Again, I'm licensed in Florida and the state of Illinois. So reach out either one of those. I can help you. Hey, we can jump on a plane for 40 bucks and we can head down to Florida and we can look at homes or, you know, we can jump in the car and, and head over to wherever you want to go and we can look at some homes. Either way, I'm here to help you. So just reach out. Again, I appreciate the time. Please look forward to more videos coming in the future. I've committed to 52 new videos, one a week in 2022. So I want you to hold me to it. And if I'm not putting those videos out for you, reach out to me and say, hey, Paul, when's that next video coming out? Because I need your support and I need your push. I love doing this. Hopefully you can see the energy and excitement. Again, reach out to me with any questions or concerns. I want to be your real estate broker for life. Thanks so much. You have a great day.